that's crap anyone that allows you to do that is not a financial planner they're a pension salesperson just looking for a commission in my opinion in this video we're going to have a chat about pensions i can already feel you rolling your eyes and groaning on the inside saying not pensions but listen pensions are great pensions are honestly the best investment vehicle anybody in the country can have because of tax relief which I'm going to get back to in a couple of seconds. But let's talk about pensions in general and why people don't maybe use pensions or know enough about pension plans. I think that consumers automatically think about what I thought about. First time I heard about pensions, I thought about my granddad. I remember my granddad going to the post office and getting his pension every week. So when I was 17, and 18 and I heard the word pensions, I would have automatically thought about that. Now I was lucky enough that when I went into work from school, uh, I worked in Royal Sun Alliance and had a company pension plan where I was automatically had to put money to my pension and so did my employer, which was great. Uh, then I went to Irish Life, the same thing. They put money in, I put money into the pension plan. Uh, then when I set up PAX here in PAX and asked Paul, we have a company pension plan for myself and obviously everybody in the company has access to the company pension plan too. And that's brilliant. However, if you're self-employed or you work for somebody that doesn't have a company pension plan, it might be the last thing on your mind. And it possibly should. I'm going to say it, it possibly should be the last thing on your mind. Although they're amazing from a tax relief point of view, it's very important that they form an overall part of a financial plan. So I'm going to give a couple of examples here. I think it's the best way to talk about pensions to see can we hit as many people as possible where they might be in the stage of life. If you are, say, I don't know, 25, 26 years of age, and you have an income and you're still living at home and you're doing really well with your money and you have a couple of hundred quid left over at the end of the month and you have short-term savings, you might have an investment account or double investments of some description, you might have an income protection plan already set up and you're in good shape. 100% knock yourself out and start a small pension plan. For every time you put 100 euro into that pension plan, if you're on the lowered of income tax, you're going to get 20 quid back from the revenue commissioners. That's the 20% return. So people talk about investing here all the time at Ask Paul and we get loads of questions about investing single-handedly the best investment you can make is a pension because you get 20 percent relief back straight away if you're on the lower income tax even better if you're on the higher rate of income tax you get 40 percent back so every time you put 100 euro into a pension you're going to get 40 euro back from the revenue commissioners so you're already up either 20 percent or 40 percent before you even invest your money so let's just call a spade a spade we know loads of people that reach out saying I'm on a Jezero account, I'm buying stocks through Revolut, and I want to get into the Ask Paul Investment Club, which is great, of course. But a pension is all that on steroids, because you're getting so much tax relief from the government. So we need to reframe the word pension to say, who wants tax back? If we were in a live audience now, I'd be asking you guys, who likes to pay income tax? Put your hand up if you like paying income tax. Not one of you will put your hand up. If I ask the same audience, put your hands up, who wants tax back from the revenue commissioners? Every single one of you will put your hands up. Now, the only thing a pension plan differs from a normal investment account is the access. You can't access the money, typically speaking, till you get to 60 years of age. So if you're 25 and you're thinking, hold on, I can't touch money till 60, I better only put a small proportion of money aside. Now, the other problem with having uh, pensions is that, again, back to that whole financial plan, that balance with your money, why it's so important is this. Let's say, for argument's sake, again, you're back to that 25, 26 year old person, or 35 even and you have short-term debt every time you get paid you can't make it to the end of payday without going to your overdraft or into maybe missing a couple of direct debits you might be a little bit scattery with money there's no way you need money for a pension there's no way you take more money out of your back pocket and plan for 60 year old you when 35 year old you is a bit of a mess with your money that doesn't make any sense you're putting 35 year old you now under more pressure so 65 year old you is sorted that's crap. Anyone that allows you to do that is not a financial planner. They're a pension salesperson just looking for a commission, in my opinion. If you're that person that's all over the place with the money, you need to take a break and sort yourself out over the next two to three years, or even five years between 35 and 40, and then a 40 start a pension plan when it makes sense to do so. Another example I'm going to give you here why financial planning is so important with pensions and why we'd always say to somebody, you need the likes of an income protection plan before you put in your pension plan, is this. Let's say you come to us today here at Ask Paul and you want us up a pension plan and you've no income protection. And we allow you, say, yeah, set your pension plan up there, it's 200 euro per month you're going to put into your pension plan. That means, just for argument's sake, it's two and a half grand a year thereabouts. So in five years' time, just for, again, just rough maths, just say a bit the fund even grew. And let's say in five years' time, you've got 15, 20 grand in the pension. And you go out sick long term from an accident or an injury or got some serious illness like a cancer or something like that happens. And you come to us and you say, I'm out of work for the next 30 years. What's the crack with the pension? Well, I'll be saying you can't touch it till you're 60. So you've got 20 odd grand locked away till you're 60 years of age, but you can't work for the next 30 years. That's not good financial planning advice. 
that's someone selling you a pension. So when we say, okay, you have 200 quid to put into a pension plan, let's put 50 euro towards income protection and 150 euro into your pension, that makes sense. The income protection also gets tax relief the same as the pension does. That's why it's so important to have a financial planner look at your finance, see where you are in your current mind of where you are now. But also, we do get a lot of people coming to us looking for ABCs. They might be nurses or teachers for argument's sake. You've already got a pension plan. The government are saying to you, you work for us for the next 40 years and we're going to guarantee you pretty much 50% of your income until you die from, say, 65 years of age. You don't really need an ABC yet if you're in your maybe 20s or 30s, maybe even early 40s. Because you already have a pension. You've already got a really good pension. Go play the pension from the government. No real risk to it. You might have put a few quid in every now and again, but ultimately speaking, it's a gold state of pension plan. Why at 25 years of age would you want to top that pension up to have more money for 65 year old you when the next five years probably aren't sorted? We've seen this before. We've had some teachers or nurses come into us and they might have an ABC with 10 or 15 grand and they haven't got a deposit for a house yet. They're like, oh, this is brain dumb. And that's actually so bad. It's so really bad advice. But they probably met somebody that sold them an AVC in a classroom or in a hospital one day. And that trust is really bad advice. When it comes to pensions, I think they're the single-handed best investment decision anyone can make in this country. And everyone will need one at some stage. And that's the trick here, trying to figure out when you need it, when you don't. And that's why we'd always say if you're looking for pension advice, you do need a full financial planning consultation. So we can see exactly where you are now in life, what you're doing with your money short term, long term and ultimately how much you can maybe afford to put into your pension and if you should do so. Hope this is at a value, a bit longer than my normal videos, but I do think it's worthwhile having the discussion about how important pensions are, but more importantly, how important they are at the right time, moment of time for you.